just take two quick shots and see out the door. And I don't have any ears on, but. That is it. There we go, guys. Gorilla Machining. Go check them out. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It's Dion back with the Savage 76 channel. On the table here, I got something I'm very, very excited about. In the past few years, I have done a lot of 80% builds. And they were all AR-15. So I wanted to kind of go over into something different. And for the last two years, I've been looking at um, getting a polymer 80 lower for a Glock 19. Now I do have a Gen 3 Glock 19 here on the table. Everything on this gun is stock except for the grip tape. I a few times thought about enhancing it. I did put some slight undercuts here with the Dremel so I could, my hands could fit a little bit better. And that's about it. So I shop a lot online. I'm constantly looking for the best deals, the best steals, whatever I can get for a bargain because I work really hard for my money and I don't want to throw it away. And I have wasted a lot of money over the last few years buying products that just were not up to par. I'll either give them away or throw them in a box, but I will not resell stuff that I don't like because I don't want anybody else getting ripped off or going through what I had to go through. But... Lo and behold, I found a new company out there called Gorilla Machining. And I reached out to them, got in touch with them, and I started with buying an upper that I got that's milled in-house. The upper receiver for the AR-15 was the actual first thing I bought. You get this, you get an ambidextrous charging handle for like $59, and the upper parts are um, already installed. So that makes it a breeze, so you can just throw in your barrel, your rail, and you're ready to go. But back to the Glock 19. So I've been looking at the Glock 17 and the Glock 19 builds because the majority of my pistols are, or handguns, are in 9mm. I try to get a lot of things in 9mm because I reload, and I also like to buy bulk ammo. So I try to keep a consistent basis with that. That way, if there's any ammo shortages or problems, you know, in the future, I won't have a hard time getting ammo. Well, let's come over to the table here. Let's check out what Gorilla Machining does make that I'm excited about. And I'm sure you guys will be excited too. Just give me one second. We'll uh, get close up here and we'll unbox this thing. All right, guys. So we're back at the table here. Wanted to bring you guys in a little bit closer. Now, I did open this up and inspect it. Threw it back in the box so you can have the thrill of the unboxing as well. And if it doesn't take me forever, I'll try and get it out. So this is what you get. You get a standard round box. You get it in this mesh that like your barrels come in to protect it. And it also came with some bubble wrap that I already threw away. And this is it right here. Now there's companies out there like Zev that make really nice Glock uppers and slides. But the price point on them are well over $500 plus. Some of them are 7 and you know. Uh, $800 for some of these custom slides or you can send out your Glock 19 slide and have RMR cutouts done and serrations put in and The problem with that is the price for a lot of people They just don't have the money or don't want to spend that much money if I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars I want to get a really nice rifle or a really nice optic. I really don't want to put a um, thousand twelve fifteen hundred dollars into a handgun I was looking at the new shot show today, and you know they have Glocks from, uh, I believe it was Zev, they were like $1,500. And for some of us, that's just a ridiculous amount of money to put into a handgun. And that's without your RMR, it's going to cost you another four or $500. If you buy the Trigicon or so forth. Well, anyways, Gorilla Machining has made an affordable, really nice looking, very well functioning upper. That goes with any... Um, polymer 80 lower and that's the cool thing about this it has a just a nice tight flush fit it has all your standard Glock parts in it this does come Cerakoted inside and out as you can see and I did take a few initial shots outside to make sure that 
everything was fine. You got good accuracy with the barrel as well. I also threw in a threaded barrel that I purchased from uh, Combat Armory just to see how it would function and the functionality was there. Your RMR fits perfectly on there. Just an all around great, great upper. Let me hold this still so you guys can also get a comparison with the original Glock 19. I'll bring this one over. Now, to do some comparisons, I'm going to go ahead and get you some weights, and I'm going to get you some dimensions and some information off the website. Just give me one more second, and we'll get to that. Okay, okay guys, we're back. I've got this thing disassembled. Really quick, on Gorilla Machining's website, <clears throat> this is their claims. It's the Gorilla Machining Glock 19 Complete Upper Half Custom Slide with the Trijicon Armor Cutout. Uh, normal price or retail is $6.99. Normal price on sale is $3.99. Right now you get a savings of 56% or $390 off at $309. That's a steal with the whole upper parts and a barrel. Moving down, you get to pick your barrel selection. You can get these in a black nitrate. You can get a black threaded or you can get a chrome threaded or stainless steel. The Cerakote options are tungsten gray. Uh, burnt Bronze Elite, Black Elite, which I have, or Magpul Flat Dark Earth. Going down from there, and this is the, uh, apart from the customer reviews, which I've read over and they're all thus far really good. The description on this is Grill Machining Precision Glock Slides are perfect upgrade to your Glock 19 sidearm. Enhance your stock pistol or add it to an 80% build for increased accuracy and reliability. These slides are manufactured from 416R steel and have tighter tolerances than a factory slide, providing increased accuracy and reliability that you can count on. Complete slides are ready to function out of the box. Available for G19, Gens 1, 2, and 3, they feature the option of a RMR cutout. Now the Kong slide features an enhanced profile with angled cuts. The custom engineered design provides reduced weight, better balance at the muzzle, and improved grip and friction when in mud, water, and other adverse conditions. Also comes with the GM4150 Precision 9mm barrel and Glock parts kit already installed so you don't have to mess with it, period. And then down here is just an overview. Now if you don't want to get the whole parts kit, with the barrel and everything, you can get just the slide, or you can just order barrels from these guys, or just parts kit. Their parts kit are $79. The slide itself, the with the threaded barrel and black nitrate, is $79. And just the RMR cutout of the, or the actual slide itself. I don't know if this has the parts in it or not. I don't believe so, but it's $199. Alright, now... Moving on to some weights. We heard that it does have reduced weight, so let's see what the scale has to say. And I know this is on some mushy stuff, but this one is weighing it at 9.4 ounces. Your standard Glock uh, Gen 3 slide is weighing in at 12.3 ounces. So you get a savings of close to, let me get this zoomed in for you, of just under 3 ounces. Okay, the barrels are identical. The only difference in the barrels is one does have the Glock stamp and one doesn't. But other than that, they are pretty much identical. And the one that comes from uh, Gorilla Machining has a little bit darker finish on it, a little bit more matte, which I do like. So that is the basic differences. And real quick, I'll throw the barrel and guide rod in. Now, in the beginning of this video that I'm filming now, I did shoot it out in the yard yesterday. I took uh, two shots, and you can see just a little tiny bit of wear already in here with the Cerakote. I did not use the barrel that came with it. I used the Glock 19 barrel that I got from Combat Armory. These things are $50, and you get a threaded barrel over there. These guys at Gorilla sell the same barrel for uh, $79. Both barrels do not come with the thread protector, 
on the end cap, so you do have to purchase those separately. Let me find the right barrel here and we'll do one last thing so I don't take up your whole day. This is the right guide rod. I know it because this one's dry, I haven't even oiled this thing yet, which I need to do, but I have to clean my guns. But that's it. Put the slide on there, let me get some good light for you. And we'll just do a couple more weights real fast. With the RMR, I'm just gonna set it on the scale. You're looking at one pound, 3.5 ounces, you know, maybe another 0.1 or 2 ounces for sights, if you get really heavy sights, <laughs> which I don't think they make. And with a loaded magazine, an RMR, we're looking at 1 pound, 12.2 ounces. Compared with something like, let's see. A loaded HK VP9, that's going to be 2 pounds, 2.1 ounces. A loaded MP 2.0. Oh, I'm sorry, I have an RMR sitting on there. Let me give a HK a fair shake again. The HK VP9 is 2 pounds, 1.0 ounces. The MP 2.0 is 2 pounds, 1.2 ounces. Really? Huh, I can't believe that this gun is smaller, but weighs more than the HK. I guess. And then this guy here again is one pound, one, 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 one. How the hell did this happen? 2.10, yeah, 111.1. One, one pound, 11.1 ounces. So straight ones all the way across the board. That's without the RMR. With the RMR, it was one pound, 12.2 ounces. So those of you who like weights, as you can see, it's already, without the polymer 80 lower, it's lighter than two popular guns out there. But I absolutely adore both of these guns too. So I'm not picking on Smith & Wesson or HK. I just am throwing some weights out there. Anyways, guys, that is it. Gorilla machining. Wonderful looking slide. You know, for $309, you can't beat it. Like I said, there's other companies out there that are charging $500, $700, $900 for doing cutouts for your RMRs and, you know, the slide serrations and the, your porting and so forth and so forth. And this already comes Cerakoted with one of your favorite color choices. And you also get a barrel choice. You get the parts kit for, like I said, under $400 for everything. You can't really beat it with shipping and so forth. I don't even remember what I paid. They got it on my doorstep really fast. Their quality control seems to be great. And they also make other gun parts, you know, on their website. Like I said, I got the AR-15 uppers from them. I've already built one or two guns. I can't recall how many I used with their uppers. I bought a couple from them and a couple from Combat Armory and they are just, uh, I like Gorilla Machining a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I'm really praising these guys because their price point is phenomenal. You cannot beat the prices and the quality for what you get. You get both and in the gun industry you usually get one or the other. You usually get something really nice for a really high price or you get something you know, cheap and you don't get the quality. But with Gorilla Machining, I'm seeing you actually get both and I'm happy to say that I'm pleased with what they have done and achieved here. I cannot wait to finish this build and I hope you guys join me for that. It's going to be a Polymer 80 lower and a lower parts kit coming up soon. If you guys have anything to recommend as far as sights go, um, for the Glock 19, please let me know because this is my first handgun build. I've done ARs for years now and I'm trying to delve over and I want to do a Glock 19, a Sig, uh, Sig Sauer P320 and I believe uh, I really, really want to get a really nice 1911 built. And that's what I want to put on the table in the next year. So any recommendations would be highly appreciated for you Glock fans out there that are watching this video. 
Go check out Gorilla. The Gorilla Machining people, man. Phenomenal job. Let me know what you think in the description as far as parts and triggers, sights and triggers, I guess you could say. And a lower parts kit. Because I'm not only going to need a trigger, I'm also going to need the parts as well. Any, any recommendations would be appreciated. So, thank you guys so much for joining me here today. I love you guys. God bless you. And I will see you in the next video, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.